It's Monique Hart here at the Heart of Season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race and my good, good sister. What's up, it's the Vixen. We are at the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10 and we are so excited. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> What's up, girl? We're here. We're doing it. Okay, so sister, how has your life changed since all of this? America, hello world. <laughs> with the good, there comes the bad, and with the bad, there comes the ugly, which brings forth life. Okay? <laughs> um, I am so brown cow stunning. I am so happy. I've gotten everything that I've wanted. Now, I didn't win the competition, okay? But I did win television, okay? Yes, And you, you will see me on television again. Hello. And I, okay, the Bible says speak what you want. Write it down, make the vision clear, okay? So I wrote down, Jesus, <clears throat> I want to be a gay male Oprah.com. And so, <clears throat> watch it happen. Okay. Oh, so can, that's what. Can I be your girl? That's all I want. Yes, I just want to be, be your girl. Oh, Stedman. In the back, in the pit. No, because Stedman don't get to go nowhere. I want to be a girl. <laughs> <laughs> The I want to go somewhere. Yeah, I want a so spinoff. <laughs> I want to be your gal, girl. Tell me how your life has changed, though. I feel like I'm still doing everything I've always been doing. It's just more and bigger, and Very it bad. means more to Very more bad. people. And stuff like, that. like, I've always been doing what I love, <laughs> but now just more people see it. Very bad. And it's like, but like you say, it's with the good comes the bad. So like now, more people love me, more people hate me, more people got to say. But it's all, at the end of the day, the same. It's Very like, bad. so. It, it is the dream. The mix. So since, since we did the competition, mm -hmm. uh, and we met the girls, yeah. and you know, everyone gives thanks for America, uh, who do you think is not what they presented when we first met them? Well, you know, especially for me, like coming in, it was, uh... It was a bull in a china shop, it was a lot. Yes, girl, I'm, I'm here to fight! So for me, like, I would say after everything that happened with Aquaria at the beginning, mm -hmm. like even like towards the end of the season and like touring with her and like stuff now, like being out, I love that girl. She's she, like, she's I f with her. Do you see that she just tagged in a recent photo uh, everybody black at Aquaria? Yeah, she's that girl. She's that girl. She's that one. We be like, you can come on, you, you can, come you on can to the cookout. Grandma would have made the greens, yeah. and she was like, about yes, about like. That. We could be in a dressing room and she just cracks she, me up yeah. nonstop. Yes. Like, it's like once you get like why she's like that, uh -huh. it's like, oh, you're funny actually. You right. just gotta know what that is. Right. Sistra, mm -hmm. would you have done anything differently? For me, it's so funny because, like, had I literally said anything else besides I came here to fight, it would have been a whole different season. You know what I mean? Girl. Could you imagine, like, Girl. if I was like, I mean, if it's that easy to just control a season, I should have said I came here to win and just. Crown. Like, because I mean, Sharon Needle said, I'm the future of Dragon, walked away with a crown. Entrance phrase might have made a big difference. Yeah. But, like, seriously, like, there are so many people out there in the world who are like, I'm like you, I'm a fighter, I go to 10, I can't. So, like, I just really can't regret anything because I feel like, had I not said that, those people who have been waiting to be represented yeah. wouldn't have got represented. Yeah. So, like, they're like. I will say this that you are not. Hello, world and America. Uh, my sister is very, very feisty and she's very vocal. She will let you know to also like give those people like tools and resources to educate them to say, hey, yes, you fight, and then this is how you fight. Too. Yeah. Because you can't fight the same way in every arena. You no. Know, you can't. Like, and what I learned is when you fight your enemies too much, they learn you. Very that. They, so, they learn your. They learn your moves. Boom, they learn boom, your combos. Very, very that. So pick your battles, America. Pick your battles. Pick your battles. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so, you know, we both have been eliminated. We're no longer Why in the are you running. Me? I don't want to go here, but Why you know you I gotta go. Listen, like, listen. Where are my sunglasses? We, at? but you know, we went through it together, and I was right behind you <laughs> on the way out, right behind you. So, like, if you kept going, what do you think would happen? Like, knowing what the challenges that came next in the runways, how do you think you would have did if you like had another week? Yeah. If you had to do share, if you had to do share. I sing. Mm -hmm. Cher has a low register. I have a low register. It didn't go very high. Uh -huh. I, uh, yeah. I was so ready, mm -hmm. and then to get knocked. So I would have slayed. Yeah. I surely wanted to lip sync against Asia, Monet, Miss Cracker, and Cam. I wanted those. Those were the best. You wanted to lip sync four times. I sure did. <laughs> 
Because I wanted to destroy, like, the, you know what I mean? Yeah. I really did, because Asia is that black girl for, she's like black royalty. Yeah. In the, in the drag scene, you know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. I want to get her a nobody from uh -huh, I feel you. I feel right? You. Yeah. Miss uh, Monet, uh -huh. especially now looking then, because they compare us so much, so yeah. let me let my name Let me be. let it be known, yeah. Miss Cameron, because the bitch did a car one and it was better than mine, so. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be the one saying it, but everybody's car was better. <laughs> That's only because I didn't want to kick her, America. I would have kicked you. Oops. Hey, <laughs> hey. All right, so now we're here. It's the finale. We done seen all the tea. We done heard what they said when we wasn't in the room, mm. when we wasn't in the interview room. Mm. What do you think is going to happen today? Um, I feel the finale is going to be brown cow stunning. <laughs> Cause why? Cause I'm there. <laughs> hi America, hi world. <laughs> I hope the lip syncs are good. Uh huh. Um, you know, I hope Asia or Aquaria wins. You know, everybody black or everybody Aquaria. black or Aquaria. Uh, I'm with you on that. Very then. Cause them other two. I love them. Look, well, you, keep I, it at the cookout. I, Vixen. Uh -huh. Tell me what you think the finale is gonna be, girl. What do you want? What do you expect? I just want to be pretty. I just want to look good. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Just happy to be here. Just happy to be here, sitting in my seat, drinking my cocktail, like, who, 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 uh, yeah, uh, you thought you was going to win and you did, uh, uh, uh. Like, literally, I would not trade places with those girls at all, because guess what? We get to go, look stunning, take pictures, and leave with no cares in the world. Girl. This is how I feel. First of all, I know for a fact that RuPaul loves me. If you don't win his competition, you get to be a real good Judy with him, and that's what I'm trying to be. A good Judy, because I'm trying to be his replacement. <laughs> a, a Rudy Judy. Yeah, a Rudy Judy, so it's going to be Mo Paul instead of RuPaul, you know? Mo Paul. Mo Paul. That way he still gets the chat. You know, he ain't going to let it fully go. <laughs> you know? RuPaul presents more new yeah, strikers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the lip. Pretty much like the coven, honey. Hey beauties, it's Sasha Velour, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. Do you want all the hot Drag Race tea? Then you better subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel, and you'll have all the fresh videos sent directly to your inbox. Now that's something not to joke about.